Jerry, asks her boyfriend Tom, a primary high school teacher, about her outfit she needs to wear, for an audition for a play. He starts marking drawings from school. He complains to Jerry, about a tramp begging outside their house. She asks him not to use the word, tramp, because it's insulting. She asks him about his work, and he tells her, that he is marking every drawing with a wow, and every fifth one, gets a brilliant. He doesn't want to spend the entire night, marking them truthfully. Jerry leaves for the audition, and Tom leaves to get some milk. Later, there's someone at the door. The man on the door says, he's got Tom's wallet. He lets him in. He picks up a book for self-defense. A dirty homeless man, Miggs, appears, and returns the wallet. He didn't take any money from the wallet. Tom gives him some money, as a reward, and closes the door. He locks the door, notices Miggs leaving, then removes the lock. He goes back to marking the papers, when there's a knock on the door. He checks the peephole, to see Miggs. Miggs wants to come inside, saying he brought a present for him. He asks, how he go in, to which Miggs says that the door was open. He brought a bottle of whiskey for Tom, using the money he gave him. Miggs thanks him, for talking to him. He says, it feels nice to talk to a fellow human. Tom asks him for a drink, and Miggs accepts. They go inside, and Tom pours him a drink, and then one for himself. He asks Miggs to hurry up his drink, because he needs to mark the papers. They start talking, and Tom tells him, that he doesn't want to be a teacher. He is writing a novel, like an English Charles Bukowski. Miggs says he met Charles once in New York, who used to be homeless too. He was writing his last book at the time. Tom shows him a copy of Charles's last book, Pulp. Next morning, Jerry wakes Tom up. Apparently, he spent the night drinking, and missed work. He tells Jerry, that he was with Miggs, who is still here. She's angry that he invited a tramp in the house. He explains, that Miggs found his wallet, so he invited him in, and he gave him good ideas for a novel. She asks him to get rid of Miggs, and call the school to apologize. He is not a writer yet, and still needs this job. She leaves, after he insults her. Tom wants to leave for work, but Miggs tells him, that he already missed assembly, and is stinking of booze. He suggests Tom call in sick. He inquires about Jerry, who Tom was calling mad actress last night. Tom wants Miggs to leave, but Miggs doesn't have any clothes, because Tom threw his clothes in the bin bag last night. Miggs tells him to relax, and that he'll make some breakfast. Later, they both play Risk, while drinking wine. He checks his phone, for any contact from Jerry. Miggs remarks, they are, Tom and Jerry. Tom tells him, her last boyfriend was Ben, as in Ben and Jerry's. Miggs asks him to get some cigarettes. Tom gets a call from work, which goes to his voicemail, while Miggs searches his house. He comes across a key, and deletes the voicemail. He hides Tom's phone under the sofa. One week later, Tom is in his bed, writing the novel, and smoking. Jerry arrives. She's angry that Tom resigned from his job. He wants to be a full-time writer. He gets angry because Jerry hasn't been here for the entire week. She tells him, that she left a lot of messages, telling him that she'll be busy with rehearsals. He tells her that he lost his phone, and that Miggs is still living here. Jerry thinks that Miggs is using him. He insults her, saying that she has been doing the same thing all this time. Hurt by his words, she leaves. Some days later, there is a pile of unwashed dishes in the kitchen. Tom checks his voicemail, but there are no messages. He sits down to play Scrabble with Miggs. It's his birthday today. He hasn't gotten a single card, or a call. He feels everyone has forgotten about him. Miggs suggests Tom should wash up, but Tom gets offended, and tell him that he has no right to say that, and leaves the room. Miggs goes through the greeting card for Tom from his grandma, that he hid from him, and takes the money that comes with it. Tom has resorted to heavy drinking. Tom's friend, Stevie, comes to visit him. He is perplexed to look at the deteriorated state of his flat. Stevie wants to know, how Tom is earning money for himself. He gives Tom, some body shop vouchers, and invites him to a dinner. Tom declines, and asks Stevie to leave. Stevie leaves, but makes him promise that he'll call, if he wants to chat. Tom goes back in, and Miggs gives him a beer to drink. Some days later, his electricity supply is being cut off, because he hasn't paid the bills. Tom breaks down, and starts crying. A shaven Miggs enters the house. Miggs has gotten a new job, working with kids on an outreach program. He gives Tom some money, and goes to the bathroom for a bath. Jerry arrives, and tells Tom to get his head straight. He tells her that Miggs is going to help him with his benefits, but she tells him, that there is no Miggs. Miggs doesn't exist, Tom invented him, to cope with what's happening. To prove Miggs exist, he takes her to the bathroom, 
but there's no one inside. Tom has been depressed for a long time, and just needed an excuse to leave his job, and start drinking. She has to leave, but tells him that they'll sort this mess out together. As she leaves, Miggs appears from behind the door. Some time passes, the flat is clean, Tom is shaven, and smartly dressed. He kisses Jerry. The doorbell rings. Stevie has come to meet him. Stevie wants him to take his old job back. Tom wants Stevie to meet with Jerry, but Jerry is nowhere in the house. Stevie reveals, that Jerry died in a car accident, and that Tom went back to work too soon. He goes to the bathroom to get Tom's medication, and sees Miggs drowned in the bathtub. Tom tells him, that Miggs is not real. The episode ends with Tom, getting some coffee for Stevie. Like, and subscribe, for more videos like this.